Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be simulating the full career of a 99 overall goaltender on NHL 23. Up until this point, I have performed several career simulations on players and I decided that it's time to see what would happen if we put someone in the cage and followed them throughout the entire career. And go big or go home. So we're gonna be using a 99 overall goalie as I mentioned. Also, if you have not seen these videos before, just to let you know, I pick a team that is likely not to get this pick and pretty much just stay out of their way. I turn everything, including free agents and contract signing to auto, let the game just do its thing, so I really have no direct control or influence on what happens. But on that note, let's jump into it here and see what EA Sports thinks would happen if you put a 99 overall goaltender into the NHL. Right off the bat, we get a glimpse here at just how important goalies are in this game. Not very. 99 overall with high franchise potential and projected to go fourth overall. Here is the draft where the third overall LA Kings do take Brick Wall. Great name. Very creative, I know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mike Smith, you were great on Trailer Park Boys, but I'm sad to see that your career has come to an end. Brick Wall, obviously going to be the starter. He signs the entry level contract. And in the first year, the LA Kings finish third in the Pacific Division. We get a 923 save percentage and 39 wins from Brick, who does not have a stellar playoff performance, but that still gets him a Calder and a Vesna in just his first season. You can see here that the Calgary Flames dusted the LA Kings in round one, and Carey Price decides that he is done, but. I mean, I think he's pretty much already done, unfortunately. It was a great career, though, Carey. And now we are going on to year number three. Still the starter, Cal, up to 84 overall. The LA Kings finished first in the Pacific Division, so they moved up two spots this year. Brick Wall has a 925 save percentage, but a lackluster playoff showing yet again. He did have a 907, but... They went down in six games to the Nashville Predators. And on top of that, we have Craig Anderson, who, by the way, playing phenomenal this year at the young age of 41. What an absolute legend of the game. It's time to hit year four of the simulation, year three of Brick Wall's career. This is the final year of his entry level contract, and he plays very well. The team finishes second in the league. He had a 920 save percentage, and although he played his part in the playoffs, the team still cannot get past round one. The Minnesota Wild beat them in six games and Yaroslav Halak is at the top of the goalie retirement this year. The LA Kings look pretty solid right now. They didn't give Brick a backup, though. 65 overall, can't really count too much on him, but they do sign a new deal six years at 10.5 AAV, and they don't make the playoffs right after signing that contract. I mean, Brick did do his job, but for some reason it seems to work out like that. Not always, but more often than not, when a player signs a big contract, they just kind of shut down. Jonathan Quick will retire a former LA Kings goalie in this simulation is now done. Brick Wall will have a backup in Philip Gustafson this year, but they still don't make the playoffs fifth in the Pacific Division. A 914 save percentage from Brick sends win the Stanley Cup. And another legend of the game, Flower decides that he is done. With just shy of 600 wins, that puts him behind only Martin Brodeur. Very, very solid career. The LA Kings are back in the playoff picture this year. We see a 916 from Brick Wall. Another first round exit though. They did push it to seven, which is the most they've seen, but Vancouver would still get the better of them. Philip Grubauer decides he's done at 211 wins. With a pickup of Johnny Hockey, the LA Kings looking to make the playoffs again here, but they fail miserably, finishing 7th in the Pacific Division. Only 86 points this year. We do, however, see a 921 from Mr. Wall, who will also be taking home another Vezina Trophy at the awards ceremony and a pretty stacked goaltender retirement list this year. The top four is massive. Johnny Goudreau clearly had a quick pit stop in LA. They now have Jesper Bratt on the first line, and they have Jari backing up Brick Wall. So two very solid goalies. They finished second in the Pacific for this season, and we see 12 playoff games from Brick Wall, which is the most yet. They finally make it past the first round, only to be deleted by the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim in just five games. So it was a good start. You know, they got past the first round, broke the curse, but they didn't get much further than that, unfortunately. This year, apparently, Brick Wall's the backup. I mean, he's not actually. It was just the first game. Sometimes that happens. But yeah, it was kind of funny to see him in the backup role for the first game of the season. He did, however, only have a 907 save percentage. And although he had a 930 in the playoffs, they would still get deleted in five games. Round number two, yet again. This time they add Zachary Benson to the lineup, and as you can clearly see at this point in the video, if it wasn't already obvious, a nice new contract there. Six years at 8.7, not a big deal. Goalies clearly do not have as much of an impact on a team as a player does. The 99 overall player, 
essentially carried the team that he was on. The goalie, not so much. I mean, they are making the playoffs, but they're not getting very far. A sweep in the first round would be it for them, and just over 500 wins is Andre Vasilevsky calling it quits after the 11th year. The LA Kings see some great success this season. 101 points is good enough for fourth in the league, 36 wins and a 915 save percentage from Brick Wall, who also puts up a 946 in the playoffs, but the team still cannot get past the first round even though Brick had amazing numbers. It is like that sometimes, you know, it just do be like that. The Kings are looking to make the playoffs for the fifth straight year. Letty will be packing up Brick Wall. That's 75 overall, but it doesn't matter. They finished sixth in the league. A 929 from Brick Wall. Where was the other point zero one? You know, you could have had the 930. But anyway, 13 games played in the playoffs. He gets a Vesna and the Jennings this season. First time he takes home the Jennings and they make it to round number two where Calgary will beat them out in seven games capo decides that he is done with 256 wins in his career at the young age of 37 clayton keller joins the team bokefist will be the backup for brick wall this year and the la kings finish second in the league 105 points a great season out of brick wall but not a great playoff run he had a sub 900 save percentage where the seattle kraken take them out in six games samsonov had 434 wins in his career, and Kata Hat had just over 400 as well. We now head into year number 15 of the simulation. Swayman backing up Brick Wall, and they missed the playoffs for the first time in a while. And somehow Brick Wall had a sub 900 save percentage throughout the entire season. I have no idea how he managed that. It's actually quite impressive, but I'm not going to let that take away from Jake Ottinger's 505 wins. Tremendous career. Wall is now down to a 97 overall, but the Kings finished first. In the Pacific, just shy of 100 points this season. 37 wins from Brick Wall, who played 18 playoff games. They finally made it past the second round, all the way to the conference finals, but the Blues would beat them out in seven games. So that's the closest they've been yet, but not close enough. They still can't win the ultimate prize on the back of Mr. Brick Wall, who is still 97 overall, signs a new deal, two years at 7.7, .7 and a failure catastrophically seventh in the pacific division 905 save percentage so not too bad but definitely not the year that the la kings were looking to have after making it to the conference finals there's just one year left on brickwall's contract again who is now a 95 overall on a playoff making la kings they do get 92 points good enough for fifth in the pacific 34 wins came at the hands of brick wall but he only played seven playoff games they're back to old habits here the seattle kraken take them out in round number one and brick decides it's time for a change of scenery he joins a very x factor an ability filled carolina hurricanes here he's 91 overall signs a nice ticket two years at 10.7 and they don't have a lot of success in fact they have none finishing last in the metropolitan division which i did not see coming when i looked at this team i had high hopes expected a good season from them but no they did horribly they did get the first overall pick where they get an 84 overall medium elite player who is not in the lineup this year. But again, look at all those X factors. An 85 overall brick wall does manage to make the playoffs this season, where the Carolina Hurricanes get 98 points, good enough for second in the Metro, but a first round exit. He may have left the LA Kings, but he cannot leave the first round curse. Jesper Wallstedt just accomplishing the 500 wins that's got to feel good a now 79 overall brick wall joins the minnesota wild for year 21 of the simulation they finished sixth in the central division brick does get 28 wins and has a 903 save percentage buffalo gets the stanley cup and on that note brick decides that he is done with a grand total of 689 wins an overall save percentage of 913 and a 270 gaa throughout his career in the playoffs he didn't have a lot of success, let's be honest here. He did have a 9-11 save percentage overall, which isn't too bad. Truthfully, Wall did not earn as many trophies as I thought he would, not even close. But did you guys expect more or no? Am I blowing it out of proportion here? On top of that, he played for three teams and made a total of 158.71 million over 20 years of contracts. Although he started out as a 99 overall goalie, he still was not able to beat out Martin Broder. He's just two wins shy. That is the very definition of so close, yet so far. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you could leave a like, that'd be sick. But if you just don't feel like it, fair enough. I get that. On that note, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon.